It's a good day today. You all can see. It's a Breaking Benjamin day. What's up, guys? It's your favorite Owl Eagle Owl here. We got a brand new reaction for you guys today to Breaking Benjamin Awaken. Guys, I recovered my sickness. I tweeted about this actually the last like day or two because Breaking Benjamin dropped us on and literally man had strep throat. And I couldn't do the reaction yesterday. Actually, I couldn't even talk the last like five days, guys. Like it was brutal. Probably the worst I've had strep throat and sickness in a while. But we recovered and the band saw on Twitter. They liked the tweet. I think they were waiting for my reaction. We've we've reacted to Breaking Benjamin on the channel. The guys know me. I believe Jason has checked out my reactions. I believe Aaron has. Like a bunch of the guys know about the channel and the reactions, of course. And they know a lot of the Breaking Benjamin community and the YouTubers here on the scene, which is kind of nice. It's kind of cool. So yeah, they got a brand new song. They also have a record coming soon i believe and they just got signed to bmg congrats guys new record company nice got off of hollywood all i know is bmg is on the same one as nickelback and the great part about this i heard in the grapevine they got a publicist in canada now so guys does that mean we're going to have a canadian tour next year hmm I really hope to see them actually tour and headlining Canada. That'll be amazing because that'll be the first time they actually do that. All right, enough of me rambling. Let's go and react to this brand new song, shall we? Because I've yet to listen to this and I've been eagerly waiting. Super excited. Without further ado, let's get right into this. Oh, okay. Okay. Hmm. This gives me like dear agony vibes at the start. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Venom. Okay. They're using a lot of old lyrics already. Ooh. Okay, no, 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 that part almost sounds like motionless white. What? Nah. Right here. Like, yeah, his screams almost sound like Chris from Motionless. That's crazy. That's weird, because literally Chris from Motionless and White takes inspiration from Ben. And now Ben takes inspiration from Chris. Full circle moment. Chris will flip out about this from that screen. Just saying. It's a big chorus. It is a big chorus. Mm. It's like a good vibey. It's good. It gives... Hold on. It gives a little bit of Ashes of Eden vibe mixed into it with some Dear Agony lyrics. and It's like a mix between Dear Agony and Dark Before Dawn. Like, it's a mix. Interesting. And then you have the hard screams from, like, Ember. Guys, this is like a three-record, like, mix in between. Crazy. Crazy. Interesting. Okay, breakdown. Okay. They said right. Ooh. Ooh, guitars. 
Keith and Aaron are a lot. Oh, Keith and Aaron, you guys have fun with this. Ooh. Or Jason. I don't know. Okay. Sean played around with the drums. I just hear right there. Okay. Tipsions, guys. I see new stuff. I see new instrumental stuff. Okay. Ooh. That's a good ending. Wow. Okay. There's so much. There's so much here. Wow, guys. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Thanks. Thank you guys for coming back after like five. What is it? Five or six years? Like, geez. Maybe seven. But either way, you guys, you guys pulled through. That's all I can say. Wow. What do you guys think in the comment section down below of this brand new breaking management? Guys, you you guys did some wonders. You did some stuff. Sure, lyrics wise, it's very similar to their oldest stuff, and that's what we gotta realize because they've done that. They've done that quite often. Very much so. And I think a lot of people are like fine with that to a degree. Everyone's fine with that to a degree when you get when you overdo it, then it's like yikes. Like if the whole entire record will sound very similar to different songs, then then that's an issue. They have to play around with the lyrics, play around with different stories, I would hope. Hopefully that they do. Either way, good song. You guys excited for the brand new record? I'm excited to see probably one more single because they haven't announced the record. That's what happened with Red Cold River, I believe. So this will happen again. So one more single, I'm assuming, and then they'll announce it, and then that'll be the record announcement, I'm assuming. So what do you guys think? And I'm curious on when this record will come out. I wonder if it's going to be like same around timeline as Ember was and it's spring. Or maybe winter. Who knows? We'll see. We shall see what happens. They'll probably drop one more maybe in November. That'd be kind of cool. But who knows? Who knows? We'll see. If if they're doing something, then it could be November. If not, then we'll be waiting for January, like what Red Cold River was. So we shall see. That's about it, guys. Talk guys in the next one. And can't wait for more Breaking Benjamin. You guys know. All right. Talk guys in the next one. Peace out.